So, um... Alright. Who's doing what next? So, a thousand gold a day. Um, is that, um... All, all the crafting I can do, or all the crafting I can do on one item at a time? Uh, that is, I believe, that is all the crafting you can do per day. Okay, so you can't craft multiple items no. in a single day. Okay. Alright, so is that it? I started my boss book. Uh, besides crafting materials, yeah. Okay. What kind of materials are you buying? Well, I'm gonna get materials for body wrap of mighty strikes. Plus one, plus a break yeah. traces of archery. To make the longbow plus one adaptive. Uh, belt of giant strength and gauntlets of the skilled maneuver trip. All right, god damn it, I gotta pull up the fucking wondrous item list. I can just uh, send you a thing. Okay. Yeah, he's probably got it open. All right. Yeah, that'd be easier. Well, I mean, it's the same message I sent to you. Okay. With all the gold that's uh, part of it. Yeah, those are okay. that's the buying cost, so it's half that. 2k and then 1k? Yeah. It's... it's that's the buying price. Okay, um... I just put it up for crafting. Okay, so we're gonna say the first one. It's going to be first one. Three K goes down to twenty five hundred. Um, five K. Five K goes down to four uh, K. Well, forty forty two hundred. That's that's. Two K and one K. The. Just say all together, it's gonna cost you two thousand. And 4K is going to be uh, 3,500 and 3,500 altogether. So you got that? Yeah, and then half for crafting. Right. Okay. Oh, well, these are the buy. Yeah, they, I can just half that. That's fine. Okay, yeah, just 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 half those. Yeah. And be okay. like eight thousand twenty-five. Okay. I didn't I didn't realize those were buying prices and not the selling price and not the crafting prices. Uh. This is gonna be the shopping episode. I knew this it. is gonna be the shopping episode. It's like Hoshan Hunters, we go to the mall. Which is technically the city, but whatever. Okay, fifteen hundred. God damn I need it. I need new shoes. I need a new dress. I need new pearls. These these ones are from last century. I just just half ev <laughs> half everything for, half everything for now. Um, okay. Pearls of power. Huh? Just half half everything for now, and I'll get back to the proper math later. Oh, I'll take a pearl of power. That'd be nice. Cause I I hate math. I really math hate sucks. math. Why are we playing? This is an, four an, this was an awful idea to add a percentage discount. 
You could have just okay. gone with 10, 20, I'm the wait, only one. I, I'm the only one who suffers for this. Um, okay. Um, and now are... I am done. Okay. I was going to say, there are calculators out there that you can just, you know... I don't, un I don't even know how to percentage on calculators. Just, the percentage you put, just put point and subtract that number from 100. That's literally all you do. No, 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 I have a oh, present sorry. for you, Strider. Ah... Uh... Here you go. You, so use fifteen percent. Web math. Oh that, boy. That's that's what I've been using. It's it's nice. Okay. So well, literally I'll, just do I that, will, Strider. I will look at it later. Off. I will look at it later. I will look at it later. I'll do that's all this do later. Percent. But I am assuming everyone is finished. Yeah, uh, sound off if you're finished. Hi ho! I'm done drafting, or I'm done buying stuff. Uh, I'm heading out. Of the right. Are you guys doing anything else for the day? I think Flame Lily is. I think she was trying to say. Lily? Uh. I'm. Instead of heading to the barracks, I'm heading to a house I have shortly outside the city. Okay. Is anyone else doing anything for the day? No. All right, let's go. Better move on, I guess. All right. You all spend the rest of the days just chilling, hanging out, and you all go to sleep. In the early morning, you are all woken up by members of the Royal Guard in Huoshan. You all hear loud banging on your door. No, 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 no. what? I'm up. Do you know any way, another way to wake people up? Perfect. They, they, they look at you, Wyoming, with very stoic faces, unresponsive, to which they, rep they reply. You are to report to the town to the town center immediately. Mr. Flag has an announcement for all available hunters. All, available. all right. And the same message is given to each and every one of you. Okay. Regardless of where we stand? Yes. Okay. Somehow they managed to find you, Lily. With magic, probably. Locate <sighs> person. Fine. Okay, so Lily walks out. Right. Make sure to shut the door. As you all make your way towards the town center, you see hundreds of various races. Longma, reindeer, sheep, cattle, you name it. I didn't know there were sheep They're in all this campaign. Talking amongst <laughs> themselves. Ha ha ha. They're all talking amongst themselves, murmuring to each other. Did you hear a bunch of bongo? Yeah, I heard a bunch of bongo. Do you want to make a perception to hear what they're whispering about? You can. Look, can I specifically? What? It's just not even. What's that, Jack? Can I specifically try to perception to hear things like about me? You can try. If there's any at all. You can try. I make general perception. Wow. I want to yeah, I'm going to go for general, too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, the conversations generally be seem to be the same. Uh, Lily, they're a little distant for you, but you can kind of pick up some of the chatter. Uh, Jack, no one is talking about you. Oh. Anyway, the conversation is going something like... Give it time. Why do, you, why do you think Mr. Flag brought us all here? I, I have no idea. You know, I was I was fighting some really big beast before he called a, called my squad back. You hear some more whispering. like, oh, you think it's about those guys that they... Uh, 
they pulled out of their homes and beat them. Yeah, I was wondering what that about too. Oh no. Man. Anyways, the whispers kind of keep going on like that. After a couple moments, please delete that. <laughs> Alright, as the, um, as the, as the uh, whispers continue along, uh, in the distance on a balcony, uh, Mr. Flag walks out. The crowd seemingly almost is about to cheer. He immediately puts his hand up and they go quiet. Oof. <laughs> he puts his fucking hand up! <laughs> <laughs> it's a mage hand. Bare hand. He wait, we we didn't we didn't mention he, he's got these human hands on his unicorn. Jesus fuck! He puts his hoof up. Yeah. He puts his appendage up. Hoof he, up. Puts, he puts his appendage of choice up. Christ. Anyways, he puts his hoof up, and everyone goes <laughs> quiet. Please, this is no time for celebrations. I've brought you all here because I have urgent information that must be passed along to every hunter that is available. He motions to the back end, the man which walks out. Uh, hey guys, um, so, uh, about a couple months ago we've been receiving reports that there was no cultist activity uh, in a city a ways away from here because of this we've lost a lot of good hunters going that way turns out the information we got it was wasn't legit it was wrong it was very clear well, at least we know now very clear misinformation thanks to the efforts of a couple rookies their rank one hunters we discovered that the town was in fact filled with cultists and have since been taken care of thanks to these efforts we were able to figure out that uh, there have been, in fact, cultists within our own ranks. There's a lot of murmuring coming up from this. Man, which continues. I'm sure you no doubt remember that a couple months ago, the guards had taken several ungulates out from their homes, arrested, and for those that resisted, profusely beaten them. These ungulates have been revealed to be cultists, and they have since confessed. They have been taken care of swiftly and quickly. Wouldn't confess with people. However, that is not the information we have brought you all together for the information is we have a new we have new players in Huoshan by that I mean aside from us aside from the predators aside from the cultists and aside from the herd of heaven there's another group At the request of our missions master, Zuge, I asked to have a number of bodies brought back to Hoshan. There had been reports from these rank one hunters of a tall, faceless figure that had supposedly attacked and murdered the cultists. I'd asked to bring the bodies back for inspection. What I found was 
there was more than just one tall man. More murmurs. I could, I distinctly made out several unique wounds, at least a party of four. A swordsman using magic. The aforementioned tall man. And some form of martial artist who is also a humanoid, though several wounds on his victims indicated claws. Mr. Flag steps in. The group is led by a powerful warlock who calls herself, no, not warlock, a powerful witch who calls herself an observer. I don't expect you, and I don't expect any of you to know exactly what that means. And I would prefer this information to be kept hidden until the time is right. What I will say is that this observer is extremely powerful. So this is going out to all hunters. If you see any humanoids walking around, they are to be treated with the utmost caution. Do not engage them. Do not fight them. I will be sending out scouts looking for them. And once we have, once we have a visual confirmation, I will be sending out wanted posters across all of Woshan between between here, I will send wanted posters to the Herd of Heaven as well. As for the rank one hunters in question, who have now become rank two hunters, please come to my office. You know who you are. That is all. You are dismissed. Well, I'm glad they finally got around to saying we're rank two now. Can you believe all that? <sighs> yeah, it's it's just a mess. crowd is still kind of like they're just murmuring to each other, but uh, they're kind of starting to uh, disperse. So, I'm guessing we should head to the office? Indeed. Alright then. Let's head on out, guys. See what Mr. Flag has to say. Ball head up to his office and for the first time he's not sitting on a balcony rather he's in a room uh, next to uh, kind of like a room in his office to the side where he is actually sitting in a chair with quite a bit of paperwork stacked on a table Seems to be very frustrated. He looks up at you. Ah, good, you've come. I wanted to give you more information personally. Because your next set of missions are going to be not dealing with the observers per se, but 
dealing and getting rid of them. Well, then the first thing you should answer is, what are the Observers? They are powerful beings. As close... They are as close to being gods as any mortal can become. Well... Aside from one other, but he is not an observer. Are you trying to question the Empress's might? I am not speaking of the Empress. I know that. That's the problem. Yeah, let's we're just get back not, to the point. We're not here to speak about the Empress. We're here to speak about your next missions. Anyways. Observers are... supposed to stay within their... assigned destination. Observers, say, in the world of outsiders, or whatever other plane of existence. If I recall, they're being assigned by something known as the king, right? No. Well, technically, but not the king you're speaking, you're thinking of. That was Kabados, master, and he is not an observer. I can only assume he's working for them. Hmm. There is, however, in the observers, a king. Observers yes. have had the these tall small... man talked about them. He again corrects, not that king. Observers have this weird tradition of holding playing cards. I don't understand it. The top four observers go the Jack of Clubs the Ace of Spades, the Queen of Diamonds, and the King of Hearts. I do not know which observer is here. However, I do know that they are not supposed to be. There are no observers in Huoshan. Well, no, let me correct that. There are no observers in Phonum. There have never been any assigned. I can only assume observers are here because of the predators, and they're breaking out well before the pro the prophecy's supposed date. But wouldn't that potentially make them allies? They could. However, observers, they do not play roles. They, their main assignment is to ensure time is not, for lack of a better term, messed with. Altered, maybe? Altered, yes. Know? Do you know what that would mean? I assume... Imagine you're reading a history book. And there's a f clear view of a timeline of events that are supposed to happen. It is the duty yeah, of the observers... I, I it's the duty of the, of the observers to make sure hey. that timeline remains linear and does not get changed or altered or ruined. So who is messing with it? Do you know? Is there anyone? My assumption would be that the one messing with it is involved with the cultists. Yes. Because those have been the targets. Mm. That's, yes. that's true. Technically speaking, the 
predators escaping the, the hold is nothing short of an apocalyptic event. But it happened 20 years before it should have. Mm. Is that... Yeah. But who's to say it should have been happening, you know, 20 years later? It was prophesied. It was prophesied. And the prophets... The prophet has, was never wrong with his assumptions. Hmm. And the prophecy could be wrong, but it's our best bet. Could be wrong, but we also know, or at least believe, that the hold was sabotaged. Regardless, history is not what I've called you here today for. What I've called you today is how you're going to deal with getting the observers out of Phonum. And that is simple. If Phonum has their own observers, ob outside, outside observers cannot interfere. So, your missions for your rank, you are to escort the remainder of the United Phonum Council back to Woshan. United Phonum Council? Aren't they an outdated and anarchic group? Barely holds power? You're looking... Yes. And you're also speaking to the leader of that council. Outdated or not, they hold power as little as it is and making them observers will allow that no outside force can interfere is it really so simple to become one there is no actual prerequisite you have to be chosen by a former, by a current or former observer. I just so happen to have one. Uh, so, who would we even give this power to? Have to be Boys. smart who we pick. I told you, you're going to be giving it to the United Phonum, the members of the United Phonum Council. It will be myself, the United Phonum Council, and my faithful, Tiano, Manwich, Samson, Arizona, and Raphael. Wait, this you're will... telling me the heads of all hunters are also the heads of the entirety of Phonum. That is correct. The United Phonum Council created the Hunter's Guild. That seems Damn. an unusually large amount of military strength, but I suppose we are in di dire times. He nods. You can never have too much firepower. I was Gracias. expecting politicians, to be honest. Whoever said firepower was actual firepower. No. The rest of the council members themselves aren't exactly warriors, but they have their own private armies that are also trying to take care of the predator threat. What we are doing is pulling our resources. Okay. 
You have five targets. Let me pull up the list. You have Dallas down in the port town called Seoul. You have Ishimaru, who is in a village near the prairie where the Hood of Heaven is located. You have Han in the woodlands. Edward, who I am unsure. Rumors is he was last seen in the tundra, but we've lost communication. I'll try and look for him, but keep him on the back burner for now. And lastly, we have Boss. He is a traveling performer these days. So, uh, one more question. Yes? It seems you take unusual interest in us, in particular. Why is it that we, as second-rank hunters, are doing something that seems to hold in the entirety of phonum in balance? You have potential to be better than my faithful. I'm giving you these missions because I want to put faith in all of you to see how good you can all become. And one last question. So technically that would have been two. He is silent, waiting for the question. Ideally, what does Phonum look like to you once this is all up? What's the question? Ideally, what does Phonum look like to you when this is... Like when the Predators are, are beaten? Yes. I see... I see a phonem where our children don't have to constantly look behind their shoulders anymore. Where they don't need to play not where they can play to have fun and not to have these moments where they can forget that at any day they could be attacked by monsters. I look at a phonome where men and women don't have to risk their lives every day, but they can live in peace and be happy. You remember what a... How old are you, Lily? Forty-five. And you remember what it was like before. Yes. That is what I aim for. I know even after the, after we defeat the Predators, it may not go back to that immediately. But as long as no one has to be afraid anymore, as long as they no longer have to sleep with one eye open every night, and I will be satisfied. Understood. He nods and smiles. <laughs> so then. Which one are you going for first? Can I make a suggestion for the one in the, the seaport town? Yeah. All right, then Jack actually suggests, how about we go to, I forget his name, at port town. Uh, Dallas. Dallas? Yeah. Dallas. Wait, that's an act. Um, <clears throat> Texas, shut up. Um, 
I'm back. I should, I I would like to go for uh, Dallas if anybody else wants to say anything. I don't have any objections. Uh, I don't object, but what, what, what did I miss? I, uh, we're still talking to flag. We were talking to flag. No, we're talking to flag now. Apparently, you're gone for longer you than done. I thought. Well, family sucks ass. So, uh, I believe we should, um, well, uh, flag. Uh, yes. How much of a, th a threatening position are each of these members? Like, how in danger are they? Well, soul has its own problems. Not counting the predators, it's not a uh, good location. It's very run down, rustic, gang activity, pirates, the usual. Pirates. Let's go. The prairie is run by the herd of heaven, so there is very little danger going on there. Let's, let's go to the but prairie. There are. No. I have no power. can wait then. And if there are, the, the herd of heaven is taking care of it. Han is in the woodlands, which has been having issues. Something, someone there has been terrorizing the unicorns inside. And, um,. Uh, did you mention the, uh, the tr uh, circus traveler, was it? Yes, boss. He's a member of a group that calls, that call themselves the Big Band. So, uh, uh, how much in danger are they and current whereabouts? Hmm. <clears throat> Last I heard, the Big Band... Are they were heading through what was once Alpalca territory, and I believe they are also heading towards the prairie. They're heading towards the prairie, then they shouldn't be safe next week or so. But the Alpaca lands were dangerous even before the predators arrived. Nuts. The big band does have its fair share of warriors. It's about 300 people strong. So a good chunk are traveling performers, but they have hunters, mercenaries. Enough to keep them alive, and boss is... Well, when you meet him, you'll understand. So, he's mm -hmm. not the highest priority. Okay, if we time it right, we might be able to get him and Ishimaru about the same time. He nods. Flag nods at this. Hmm. Oh, so going to the gnoming? Port is All right, then. probably the best plan. Say what? Yeah. So going to the porch is probably the best plan. Port. But Wyoming yes. just pointed out that we could potentially get two in one. Yeah. That the, same big band band chooses, the big band chooses to stay in each location for a while, so even if you go and take care, uh, escort Dallas first, you can probably run and still be able to catch Ishimaru and Boss regardless. Okay. Hmm. Do you well, think we could take an extended journey and swing by at least two of these locations? Hmm. You mean like going to the port town and then down to the prairie? Yeah. <sighs> Sadly, no. The prairie is from here. Prairie is down towards the west and 
Sol is down to the southeast. And the woodlands? The woodlands are directly south of us. Huh. In before the game uh, renders this uncannon. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Put an asterisk this to, to <laughs> this line of dialogue for now. If we ever actually get an official map of Phonum, that's the one we're gonna use. <laughs> Current map not to scale. <laughs> anyway, um, so, uh, I. Well, under those circumstances, I say we still go to Seoul was the port town, right? Yes. So Dallas is okay. Uh, I then uh. I say then, why not head to Seoul? Indeed. Seoul is the one we know most about that is actually dangerous. Anybody else going to say anything about uh, another town or other... Like yeah. I said, uh, it was Seoul or the Woodlands. Um, with Lucas, with with, uh, with Seoul, you could potentially like hit 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 the port town, and then on the way back stop by the woodlands, get a get a two for one deal. Although, it may be dangerous carrying a person of interest into a dangerous into a dangerous territory. Well, it's going to be dangerous either way, so let's just head on over with uh, Dallas. All right. Well, it's going to be dangerous regardless. So, what, how maybe long just is this take trip going to take? Stuff. Seoul is about a week and a half from here, about 12 days. Okay, then I'll go to Seoul. Your armor might be done around that It will time. be done. How convenient. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> so... Seoul, the poor town of convenience. Can, can you... <laughs> Alright, so all in favor of Seoul? All right. Everyone? Yep. Alright. Alright then. All right. Looks like we're heading to Seoul. Can you spell Seoul? S O L. Okay. So now the question like is, the do I finish the armor or do I book? Oh my god. But it's a book of free spells. You can get that but later. You have the Lily has been trying to make this book since the like the first session. She actually has. I remember that. So yeah, Brox, are you going to be useless this next time? So yeah, just get just stealth, just stealth. Just Don't get shot. Pick up some like paper armor to wear. Wait, actually, um, uh, are these guys mostly going to be using guns? Because in which case, the armor is going to be. Uh, who knows. <laughs> Who, knows? Who knows? Let's go! Maybe the DM? <laughs> Maybe well, we'll the finally get the, the, the DM knows! I ain't gonna fucking tell ya. <laughs> Maybe we'll find- Maybe Strata will finally learn to use long-range enemies! <gasps> Everybody You're, you're for fighting drama. nothing but snipers this entire second rank. Yes, it's just me and Lily then. Uh, me too. Hey, no, anyways, you shut up. Um, you're gonna get killed because you have guy. armor. Once you have your armor, come back and talk to us. Oh, fuck you too. Your AC is trash. Anyway, so, let's go, Strider and everybody else. I'd also be willing to wait three days. Of course, that might not be the best decision when people might die. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure we can move on and take yep. Dallas to Seoul now? Yep, yep, yep. Wait, hold on. Which which one is the canon version of how to spell Soul Strider? It's it's how I it's mine with the quotations. Okay, but are the quotations like the meant SOL. to be like you're sarcastically saying or no? No, that's that's They're actually little? what it's supposed. To, S okay. S dot O <laughs> dot L. I know okay. what the name of the city is. It's so out of luck. <laughs> Shit. Uh, out of luck. Okay. Wait. Fine. So the name of Whatever, it is actually an acronym. Shut up. No, let's go. Let's go. Before no questions, just go. Uh, all right. <laughs> you guys are going. It's going to take 11 days, so let's see what's going to go on. Hopefully nothing, or I'm going to die. 11 okay. days. One more. 
All right, a whole ton of nothing happened. Okay, so my armor is done, right? So after eleven, after about twelve days, you uh, see a very awful-looking, awful, very bad port town. And I also see my very crafted armor, right? Those not looking at the stream. This is what it looks like. Uh, ignore the car. That looks amazing. What are you talking about? I would live there. Ten out of ten. Ignore the you even you even you even see a sign. Um, it says, Ignore "Welcome, the welcome the soul. If you're here, you're shit out of luck." <laughs> no, it. Yeah, don't worry. That's what. It looks, <laughs> don't worry. I, I, I never covered the car on this way. Enter. You enter the. Uh, you enter the. Uh, you enter the the uh, city, the town. Uh, the first thing you're met with is a, uh, a cattle being kicked out of a of a uh, really awful looking uh, house. Oh. Someone walking out and then bam, bam, putting two rounds in his skull. No, Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I guess we go back to mission. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 not. It's very he's like malnourished looking cattle. Who's like yep. already half dead. Dallas. Well, he's all <laughs> dead now. Which, uh, we shouldn't have waited room. right outside of town for three days making a book. <laughs> it's not a, it's not oh, So so it's my shiny new armor's done, right? Yes, it's done. Anyways, yeah. uh, the person with the gun is uh, um, kind of sarcastically says, and stay out. Heads back into the house. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Can we go kill him? Okay, so I have shit oh, no. for free. <laughs> that's a good. That's oh. a good introduction to the city. You walk in, someone just got fucking murdered. Hey, can I go loot the body? He probably deserved what it. What is the game? Uh, he has nothing on him. Me. Literally nothing. Not even. I like, don't even want to loot the body. You can't even oh, take. Me. You can't even take the shirt off his back because he. But we can take God. He has two. Oh. He has two. Oh, 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 oh. You, you, cannibal. Uh, I, cannibal. I do it. I need new leather armor. <laughs> They're all. They're all. What, what has happened? There are also people walking around. They see uh, this guy get two rounds put in his skull, and they're like, eh. "They keep on they walking walk around him." So this is a port oh. town, right? Yes. I, I pushed the dead body into the river or lake or whatever the so, point right, area is. Right where you are now, there's no water around. Okay, I'll lift the body. There's nothing on him. I already no, said that. I lift the body. Alright, you loot the body, make a fort save. Oh, yeah! Uh, what's my fort? Uh... Let me, let me take a look, what's my fort? Five, okay. Also, technically, the body has two bullets in it that you could loot. Oh, I want two bullets. Ooh! Not okay, bad. so you're not, uh, sickened for a day. Okay, good. Are you really that hungry? No. But I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna loot the body anyway. People are watching this, and again, they're like. Eh. <laughs> so I'm just imagining Luke, uh, Ken, uh, Lucas is just like inside the body. Even right now. Right. Anyway. Right, yeah. You are now in Seoul. What do you do? Perception check. Oh, Alright, roll a perception. Fair enough. I roll to look for traps. I don't see a thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have traps. Uh, Lucas, is that your perception? Yeah, it is. My, I looked my for eyes traps. were closed. You know what's cool? Uh, yeah, I look for traps. Uh, Wow, you're looking around. A bullet whizzes past your eye, just barely grazing it. Oh, graze my eye? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would lose an eye even if it grazed it. Very slightly grazed it. It like hit the very fr he it hit the very frame of his eye. Strider, Strider, no, <laughs> that is not how eyes work. 
Shut up. Put that again. This is Shut bad up. So, uh, Shut so, up. Yeah, so uh, Wyoming, you were seeing the eyes are really are big. So, so Wyoming. You have uh, anime eyes. It's, anyway. it's okay. Yeah. Shut up. I got oh, a 20 no, on a joke roll. Nice. Searches for traps. Oh, I'm searching for traps. You look, you look for traps. Uh, all right. Between the two of you, that body's a bomb. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Corpse explosion. <laughs> Lucas, you're gonna I, explode. There are, there are, it's uh, not the body, it's Lucas. Oh Lucas is the bomb. <laughs> oh, okay, um, there are, uh, there are no traps. But, Lucas, uh, that 20 is a perception? Yeah. Alright, uh, looking around, um, a lot of buildings are run down. There's about more bars than there are houses. A lot of drunk people, a lot of sick people, a lot of dead people. Like, this guy's not the only body laying around. It's probably fine. Uh, How is this place still popular? How do people live like this? Well, well some of them that's don't. just how it works with guns. Some of them don't, apparently. Yeah, some of them don't, like this one. This is how it works with guns, guys. You just gotta learn how to deal with it. So, um, is... Is everybody else yeah. through with theirs? Cause I um, want to do some my role. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to. I wanted to. This is a perception, because uh, I thought it was appropriate. Uh, I was. I'm going to perception into looking into that house to see what's going on with that guy that just shot this guy. All right. Like if I can find him, or you know, like I can see what he's doing, what's going on in this house. Hey, right, yeah, make a perception. I thought, make a perception. I thought, you know how that was the perception. Oh, 17? Um, yeah. Uh, it's a bar. Can I, uh, accurately pick out where that guy is? Yeah, he's the bartender. Oh! oh. I was about to ask <laughs> if I could sneak and kill him. By the way. He's the, he's the bartender. Uh, cleaning a glass with a very not clean mug. Cleaning a glass with a mug? Interesting. <laughs> what? Cleaning, <laughs> cleaning, cleaning what? the glass. With a very not clean rag. There you go. There I go. Oh, I thought you were talking about his mug like his face. <laughs> yeah. no. uh, yeah. Clean it with his tongue, handing it off to another guy filling with alcohol. There you go. No. I don't think <laughs> I'm going to get Cleaning it with a rag here. that is distinctly not clean. Anyways, so. uh, it smells like just Garbage. awful. Awful, deteriorating skin, no, drunks, ass, booze, vomit. So I'm blood. guessing there's a pretty good black market in this town. Okay. Exactly. I think exactly. that's the right look, market. Look, look, Brock, look at this place. There's not even there, a there's... fucking market. Yeah, there's not a black market. <laughs> it is... You can't have a black market if your entire city is terrible. It is the black market. <laughs> Anyways, you that's what you see, Jack. Oh yeah. No Jack. Yeah, how they're sh they're shrugging like people getting shot and eaten, right? While they're also shrugging off the fact that someone just brought an entire cannon into their city. Yeah, exactly. Um yeah, by so, the way, someone, what are we someone, here to do someone, again? Someone walks yeah. past you, uh you're here to you're here to escort Dallas back to Bullshot. Anyways, Lily one someone walks past you and they're like, Ah oh, yeah, that's a big cannon there. Why, thank you. <laughs> so, so is this town all low light because it's all foggy and gross? So imagine uh, this yeah. town as being a drunk version of Jack, and that's just the entire town. Yeah, that's, that's pretty that's much it. Oh, is Jack, since you did the urchins again, is Jack still um addicted to the one substance you're drinking? No, no, that never happened. happened. No, that never no, happened. No, no, no. We, we I hate that. you. That needed to happen. <laughs> don't worry. That, that never happened after... after Strider, don't no, not Strider. Uh, Ryan, don't worry. I have more drugs of choice. I'll take them all. Later. I'm gonna get you addicted don't, to a poison. No, don't worry. I'll. I, I can. I can handle that. There's a spell for it. Anyways, no, Jack, don't. what are you? Doing? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go inside to the saloon and talk to the bartender. All right, he he looks up at you. Oh, what you having? Yeah, give me the give me the give me a glass of the black stuff. All right, I'll give you. You 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 sure? Hands up, yeah. 
Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Over car. Oh, <laughs> you gotta oh. change your accent when you're in right. this town. <laughs> he puts down. He puts down a shot glass. Looks and like someone pulls that. Pulls out the bottle of the black stuff and literally puts one drop, two drops, three drops. You know what this is, laddie? This right here. This is orcs blood, all the way imported from the outside of world. You drink this and you're gonna be put on your ass for a fucking month. All right, boy, that's what I like. J J Jack, Jack. Uh, side of hands, the entire bottle and drinks it. <laughs> looks no. like, looks no, like someone's in their no, element. Just side of hands is a goal. Do you drink? Exactly. No, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna, gonna be uh, thirty gold for that shot. All right, mate. All right, here you go. He hands over a small bag of 30 gold. Alright, 30 gold, and you drink? That's hold on, hold on, before I, I, I... Quiet. I, uh, I have it in my hand, but, uh, first he go... First, I ask, uh, I ask the bartender. So, I'm like, you, you uh... Have you seen a, have you seen an uncle around here? You know, uh, tall, maybe short, I don't know, you know, kind of a build to some kind, the name Dallas, and then he drinks it. <laughs> Alright, so it. you drink it, uh, make a fort save. I roll all the saves. Make a fort save. You did this to yourself, Jack. Shut up. You are like... You're... You are Hammered. gone. Like, you're gone kind of wasted. This hit you and you're just like, you are... You're, you're white girl wasted. <laughs> So, so if I drink this, would this so, person uh, do anything for me? A guy named Dallas me? drinks, falls over. Hell yeah, you're like, <laughs> and it, immediately, as you drink this, the bar goes silent. <laughs> Everything goes silent as I look at you. You see, even you're still conscious, and you kind of see <clears throat> this uh, <throat> this bartender <throat> reaching for his gun. Okay, I'm gonna go in and try and drag him out of there. Wait, hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on to that thought, hold on to that thought, wait. And he replies ahead. with, and he replies with, You, uh, you a cop, mate. Wait, do I need to roll something to talk, or can I actually still talk? You can talk. Okay, so, not me, not Oh, God. Um, that just, just, did I need to look? Dal, Dal, the daily, daily ballad. Looking for him. Hey, put that gun away. So, so. A, lot of, a lot of people around here will end up looking for Dallas. They're looking for trouble. So, can I stealth behind this guy? Hey, this isn't on. Hang on, I'm talking to this man drunkenly. Yes. So. Fully interested. And plus, none of you followed me. You just let me go. So shh. You did not watch him. You have no idea exactly. the conversation that's going on right now. Exactly. Oh. Now all of you should. We didn't up. follow him. No, Jack. No, literally. I just said I went into the bar. No Fine, one else did anything. Fine, I go into the bar and cast sense motives. Or not cast. Shut up. Well, well, I mean, no. Check. No, it's just me and him. Now hold Too on. Bad. Let's. Let me finish this, okay? Please? Anyways. He's looking at you and he goes, People looking for Dallas are... Lo they looking for trouble, matey. So, do, do, do you know where he is? Dilly, 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 dilly. I haven't answered his question. He is still pulling out his gun. He's just pulling it really, really slowly. Hey, hey, you, you know what would go good with this drink? And Jack reaches into his pocket. It, it was, How it, about it, two it, helpings it, of lead? Now, why don't you sober up? I pulled up. Wait, I wanted to, I wanted to pull out my wasp nest and smash it on the bar counter. Honey, go after the bartender. 
my god. Go, my go, my wasps. <laughs> my baby. Right. My baby. Um. I want to enter the bar at this so point. Good. Can I please okay. enter the bar? So bar. Okay, so you guys outside just, here, someone just screaming. Gonna escalate. <laughs> someone screaming, as he gets infected with, he gets hit with wasps everywhere. At this point, we're gonna need to roll some initiatives. 